Thomas, uh, the co-chair, will now present the title is uh, Zang Test in Diagnosis of uh, Skin Tumor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for inviting me to this excellent congress. <laughs> My name is Thomas Paulo from the Rio Grande do Norte University in Natal, Brazil. This is the hospital that I work on North Lopes Hospital at my city in Natal. It's a very beautiful city with very beautiful beaches. Cytology is an interesting diagnosis method <coughs> that can be applied in dermatology practice. It is not more important than the histopathology of the skin, but can be very helpful as an adjuvant test to a complete and definitive diagnosis more quickly. Sometimes it can be superior to skin biopsy on specific dermatosis and insights difficult to obtain a sample. <coughs> Everything is started when Dr. Papa Nicolau in 1928 published his famous papers about diagnosis of uterine cancer by cytology. And in 1947, Dr. Tizank in France applied this method in dermatology. What's the advances of Tizank tests comparing with the histopathologic test? The Tizank test is very superficial, wound, and painless. We can take large areas of sampling, quick and definitive diagnosis. It's a simple, inexpensive diagnostic method, and it's especially helpful when results are limited. Beneficial cost-effectiveness relationship. It's a very practical method. Local anesthetic is not necessary. Collecting samples is easier in adult genital areas and in children comparing to the histopathologic exam. The instrument that we have to use is very simple. Just up microscope, glass slides, glass cover slides, fine needle and or surgical blade number 15, fixative when we, we use the stain Papa Nicolau or hematoxylin and elzin, you have to use a fixative. And the, the main fixative is alcohol or alcohol eater solution. No fixative is necessary when we, we use the panatic or Gimse stain. Panotic is the, the stain that I have done much more because it's very easy to do. It's very similar to Gimse stains. And translucent glue or Canadian balm to fix it, the glass and the glass cover slides. This is a panotic stain. We, uh, we, I, I would like to show you that this very fast method of skin, you just dip the glasses slide five times in each bottle, and then you wash. In uh, five or 10 minutes, we, we have condition to definitive uh, diagnose. How to collect a smear sample? We, we have four methods. Number one, direct skin scrape. 
Number two, brush sampling. Three, touch imprint cytology. And the four, the last, fine needle sampling. I have done just the number one and the number four because I can't collect ma many cells to examine. To examine. This is the imprint method. We can diagnose uh, erythroplasia of Kira inside the carcinoma of penis, but to imprint method. I will show you now 14 cases in which cytology sampling was very helpful. Case number one, a, a male patient with a tumors on her, his uh, left arm. <coughs> it, many hypotheses can do, can be do. Pigmented basal cell carcinoma, pigmental squamous cell carcinoma, melanoma or other. What do you think? In, uh, in the dermoscopy aspect, we can view, we can see per border ulceration and bleeding. And I have done a direct skin scrape and fine needle sampling of this case and spreading the material on these slides. And the, I, I, I found uh, many clusters of Brazilian cells the, and confirmed the diagnosis of basal cell carcinoma. Case number two, an uh, old patient, 89 years old, presented a um, uh, uh, present a pigmented lesion. It can be the hypothesis of basal cell, pigmented basal cell, or superficial spreading melanoma. I have to diagnose quickly before the patients live very fast on my city, and I have to do a treatment. And when I found many basal cells in normal dendritic melanocytes, I can confirm the diagnosis of basal cell carcinoma and not melanoma, spreading melanoma. And cryotherapy treatment was safely. Case number three, a, patient, a female, female patient, 65 years old, with a nodular tumor in his in, in, in nose. Make a decision. Is it a pigmental basal cell or nodular melanoma? I found many basal cells and pigmented macrophage. So this, the diagnosis was confirmed as basal cell carcinoma. Another view, many basal cells in pigmented macrophage. Case number four, female, 22 years old, slowly enlargement of the lesion. We, what do you think? Congenital melanocyte niva, nodular melanoma, pigmented seborrheic keratosis, pigmented dermatofibroma, fibroma, pigmented squamous cell carcinoma. What do you think? In dermatoscope features, we can view, we can see a very pigmented lesion with globules and dots and some blue-gray vein and fine needle sampling with aspiration was done and spreading and the total season was made, and the result was typical nevus cells with melanin indicating it was benign, oval and regular nucleus, no pleomorphism. It's not a melanoma, it's a nevus. 
benign nível. Normal pigment nível cells, normal nucleus small nucleus, that, that is benign cells. Normal nível cells with scarcely pigmented, and I compare with with the histopathologic exam, and we can find nets of nevus cells in derms. In the diagnosis was confirmed uh, was compound melanocyte nevus. Nets of typical melanocyte nevus. In case number five, Mary, 51 years, diabetic food, and ulcerate nodule appeared two years ago from congenital melanocyte nevus. In dermoscope exam, the lesion was multicolored, ulcerating, bleeding, pigmented dots, and so dots and blue-gray vein indicate the deep of the lesion. We can see many dots and globules and gray vein. This aspect is very common in invasive melanoma. In the satellite lesions, we, we found blue-gray vein indicate very deep lesion with vertical growth of the lesion. And I had done a fine needle aspiration, and the result was an isocytosis, irregular nuclear membrane, epithelial cells, eccentric nuclear and macronuclear, the cytoplasm contain granules of melanin. In another view, we can we can see many pleomorphic seals. This is this is the Papa Nicolaus stain, okay? And the nuclei are very vesicular and large nucleoli and coarse chromatin. Another view we can show anisocytosis increasing nuclear cytoplasm ratio. In large and eosinophilic nuclear is very common in malignant melanoma. Then this case was a acro malignant melanoma. In compared with the histopathology, the aspect is the same. We invasion of a typical melanocyte into epidermis, in derms too. The the same aspect of we can solve in cytology exam. Case number six, fe female, 46 years, two years growing lesion in scalp, similar to chronic folliculitis. Enlarged lymph nodes was observed. Is it an inflammatory or neoplasmic? This is the doubt. But I found a typical speedo cells in epithelial cells together. And in another view. And the definitive diagnosis was epithelial angiosarcoma. It's a very interesting case. In histopathologic aspect in vascular lumina, very large cellularity in MEC marker positive, KI67 positive, indicate proliferative lesion, and fish test positive to see MEC. That is a very specific to angiosarcoma. Another case, number seven, a fe female, 68 years old, with cutaneous lesion appeared 12 months ago. He, she had many infiltrate plaques, and I, I took a fine needle aspiration, 
and I found many typical epithelial cells, suggesting metastatic breast carcinoma, a typical plasmostosis cells. In another case, what do you think? A family, 72 years old, long-standing pigmented lesion in recent enlargement. I found clusters of benign cells, epithelial cells, in large cytoplasm, in normal melanocytes, dendritic. And the diagnosis was seborrheic mimicking melanoma. Another case, pigmented lesion on vulva, 45 years old. What do you think? I found in cytology exam keratinocyte with moderate atypia by Gimsey Stan. And the histopathologic confirmed the same aspect of the cytology exam. And the correct diagnosis was pigmented bone disease, mimicking melanoma and pigmented muscle cell carcinoma or seborrheic keratosis. We can see that uh, a typical keratinocytes in all over the, the layers of the epidermis. Another patient with ulcerate tumor with excellent metastasis, uh, well, I found this keratose, a typical keratinocyte, and uh, they confirmed the diagnosis of squamous cell carcinoma. In these patients, skin metastasis from breast carcinoma, she had suffered uh, breast carcinoma two years ago and developed a cutaneous metastasis. Epithelial atypical cells in large nucleus. And mycosis fungoid is a disease that can, we can diagnose by cytology. Many infiltrate plagues and ulcerate. And the aspect is a typical lymphoid cells with enlargement cerebral from the nucleus. I think this is really uh, says that he sells into the skin. The same aspect. And is a classic capos sarcoma. Uh, many nodules in both of the legs. And a speed of self with mydotypia found in cytology exam. This is uh, the last case. Uh, it's very difficult to collect a biopsy for a child. The anti-zinc test is very helpful in this case. I found in this case two-tone giant cells typical of the diagnosis of juvenile xanthogranuloma. It's very similar to molluscal contagioso. And before the end of a skin tumor surgery, we can take a smear from the deep margin and see if it is free of tumor cells. In this case, we found, we found a typical basal cell from deep margin with grape-like configuration. And then, then I, I asked to the surgeon that, uh, the, you, that he is had to, to dip the margin of the lesions. This method can be very similar to the most surgeries, but faster and less expensive. In conclusion, the continuous cytology can quickly tell the difference between a benign tumor lesion, like a melanocyte nevus, from a melanoma without the need of a surgical biopsy. It's a very practical adjuvant method to diagnose skin tumors. Thank you very much for your attention. Everybody is invited to the World Cup in June in Brazil. Thank you.
Any questions? We'll now take any questions, please, or comments. Can I ask a question, please? It, I, I believe it will require uh, what will be the training curve, learning curve, for you to be able to do this cytology. In most centers, you find it very difficult based on cytology alone. Uh, most of them will require that you go ahead to do the biopsy. So from what you have presented, uh, how do we undergo your training in, in cytology? Because I find it very useful. When I train? The training in cytology. I have, done, okay. I have done this med for 20 years. And I have breads in much in comparing. Uh, always I have to compare with histopathological exam. And it's a very identical aspect. Okay? And this is the can valorize this method.